In this video, I'm going to talk about PowerShell ISE. ISE stands for Integrated Scripting Environment. Now, as you know, within uh, PowerShell, like so with the operating system, these four application comes pre-installed. Now you can uh, see the difference over here. One is Windows PowerShell, Windows PowerShell ISC. So the difference is uh, if there's no number, it means it is 64 bit. If there is a number x86, then that means it is 32 bit operating system. Windows PowerShell is just a PowerShell screen whereby you can type in command. ISC is much bigger than that. Okay, so we are talking about PowerShell ISC. So 32 bit and 64 bit. It says integrated scripting environment. Now the difference between PowerShell and PowerShell ISC is that it allows you to create, run and debug commands and scripts. PowerShell ISC provides graphical user interface. It provides extensibility through functions, scripts, and modules. So you can write, you can author a script, you can author a module, you can author a function, you can create different PowerShell files. So the file extension is PS1. Okay, so you can create 10 different PS1 files and then you can chain those PowerShell files by calling those PowerShell files one after the another. Now, nice and advanced formatting options are available. There is a built-in support for JSON, XML, CSV, and extensible support for creating various dynamic types. Now, PowerShell IEC, uh, I'll show you uh, how to how it looks like, okay? Uh, so, in Windows, if you click here, if you see this option over here, so it's Windows PowerShell and Windows PowerShell IEC. So, we are going to talk about Windows PowerShell IEC at the moment, 32-bit, 64-bit. I'm going to pick up 64-bit. I'll just do right click more and then run as administrator. Now there's a first step which you're going to do. It will ask you for user access control. You just say yes and then the PowerShell IEC environment gets loaded. Now let's explore this environment. Now uh, let me just close this. First on the top part you will see the menu. Okay, so you will see the menu over here. Just hit file, edit, view, tools, debug. Then there is a nice uh, command interface like a toolbar then here he is the untitled 1.ps1 here you can actually write your script file you know here you can actually write a script file you can save those script file okay and here you can write the command okay if you want to run the command and see so let me do one thing let me go into my directory so i'll write cd Girish. so i'm in my correct directory and i can uh, i'll just do a cls okay so i'm in my correct directory in here okay and here i can run various powershell commands okay now if i say get dash help okay now it will give me the help information okay if i want to uh, do some other activity like if i want to see say you can see ls and if i want to see the history okay i will say get history and i can see the uh, the command which i've typed so far okay so this is my command uh, command area here i can write the script i can save the file as ps1 and then i can execute that file as well okay uh, so let me uh, run this command date okay it will give me the date if i put time it will um, i think time is not a command uh, let's let's skip that let's let's take date into consideration okay so this is the date command now if i write date over here okay this is one of my command Second is a uh, get dash history. Okay, so I'll just write get dash history. Okay, sorry. So the moment I type over here, it gives me a nice intelligence. Okay. Here, if I type get dash history, I don't get an intelligence, right? And I can run this command. Now I can select one of the command and I can click here and say run selection. Now, if you see here in the bottom, it runs that specific command okay if i select all and then run this then it is running both the command in once okay now similarly if you just run this it will just run the entire script okay so so these two screens are important this is authoring screen this is like here you can see the output or here you can uh, execute the command as well now i have this command basically it does some um, something okay so let me put this command over here it's invoking the expression okay so if i run this it the answer is 908.25 okay and then this is another command this is another command if i run all these things it will list down all the commands okay so let me clear this up okay now what 
other things you can do is like you can actually write a function okay so let me take this off and i'll just say write a function so function uh, get a sum okay and it takes two parameters dollar a dollar b okay so i'm writing this function and i put open and close bracket and the function does nothing fancy it just sums this up dollar a plus dollar b okay that's what this function returns now if i run this function let's see what happens it just gives me uh, the function name right this is this is the function we have written but you, you can't you know like just run this command okay you need to execute this function now how do you execute this function is uh, by calling this function so from here if i call this function getish sorry getish dash sum okay and then i put the parameter as a as 10 and b as 30 okay the answer is 40 okay so it has added those value okay now like this i can write more complex functions okay now let me do one thing let me save this first okay so i'm just saving this file and in this i'll call as garish edition and the file extension is ps1 so the file name will be garish edition dot ps1 okay so the file name is basically garish edition dot ps1 now what i'm going to do i'm going to invoke the expression okay invoke expression and the command is basically i will execute the ps file which we just created now it is located in c slash garish slash and it will give me the intelligence uh, then i can pick up the ps1 file okay and i run this okay then what it will essentially do it it will execute that ps file okay and it will uh, give you the basically the it will execute that file so this is one way of uh, invoking the expression uh, by uh, referring to the ps file which you just created okay now uh, the other thing what we can do is uh, we can have multiple ps files so this is just one ps file i can create an another ps file i can create the third ps file and then i can call this ps file one by one uh, if you see in this menu bar over here this is stock standard new script open script save script cut paste uh, uh, and then we have a clear console panel it clears the console panel at once uh, then you can open a new remote powershell tab you can powershell start powershell in a separate window you can view uh, this is just like a view if you like this view then this is how it is uh, can be placed and then uh, you have a show command window okay and you have show command add-on okay so i'll just close this so we have a show command add-on here you can view all the modules which has been installed within your um, powershell now here there are azure powershell there are powershell for power apps net connection net adapter and all those things and the beauty of this is if you go into say azure module here you can actually see the command if you uh, say in Azure, so let me pick up say PowerShell, Microsoft.PowerShell.Code, okay? If I go over here and if I go into say get dash command, okay? Or get dash history, okay? If I click here, there's no mandatory thing. I can run it from here and then it will list down this parameter uh, output. Now, similarly, if I select say, if I want to run something, okay, if I, go and select new module okay then if there is uh, any script block parameter true false so all this thing you need to set and once you set and put your argument list you can actually run now i can't run this because i need to provide all the parameters but uh, it's a nice visual interface through which you can open any of the uh, command uh, installed within your powershell and uh, you can set the parameters in a like a windows based format provide the uh, mandatory fields and run okay so that's the advantage of basically using the scripting environment so that you need not remember all the commands on fly 
uh, and then you can refer it from here and you, you you can even test it so basically the below area is a testing area once you test it you can start writing your script now if you think that yeah this is one of the command then you can start typing uh, the command over here and then it gives you a nice bit of intelligence as well okay so this is just an example so here you can start drafting your script and then once your script is ready as i showed you that you know once your script is ready then you can run the script independently or you can give it to some external service to execute those powershell script so that's it folks this is all about windows powershell i see it's a powerful interface it is kind of an interface which allows a developer to uh, start writing or authoring scripts uh, which uh, they can even refer to the documentation and which uh, uh, will allow them to you know efficiently uh, author those scripts uh, and uh, if you want more help then again look into the command uh, command pane uh, you can go into any of the modules which is installed and then you can uh, once you select any of the module then here you will see a nice windows based interface to uh, execute your command that's it folks thanks for watching